peace and unity is what artists at the National Theatre are serving their esteemed audience with in this concert involving not just singing but dancing. Performers are mostly adorned in colorful costumes that show their ethnic groups. Others who have stuck to the old school apparels look as though they are leading the pack of dancers, staying in the front row while the others stand back and do the singing. Tunes such as Onyeka Onwenu's One Love were performed. These artists added another twist to the song. One after the other, they step out to rap in their indigenous languages, giving some flavor to an already popular tune. For the director of the national troupe, Martins Adaji, the big picture is to send a positive message which the country needs now. The concept of today's performance is based on the theme of uh, unity and peace, which we need so badly at this time of the year, especially with recent challenges we've been having and uh, the mood of the nation. We don't want to dampen the mood of the nation. We want to lift up the mood by these songs that emphasize our unity and oneness as against things that divide us. If you notice very well, we did not align towards any particular religious uh, practice. We decided to, 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 to key into the mood of the nation, to lift all Nigerians up as one, not along religious lines or along ethnic lines. We are one indivis indivisible nation, and by this, we want to preach the fact that this country, in our multiplicity, we are one and united, and the stronger we are in that uh, composition. It's a lot of work, 
love work. You have to think of how to put things together, how to put the whole thing, to the song, get the repertoire, and all those things. But at the end of the day, you won't, you won't say, oh, thank God for all this. A spotlight on each performer shows that it takes everyone's contribution to make a difference in the nation. This is certainly art, as performers and audience become one, leaving only the instrumentalist on stage to enjoy this unifying moment. art in every room of the house, even in the bathroom. Don't hang a tiny piece on a big wall. You see, life has just got easier. You stay connected to Channels TV, where news and innovations are shaping our world. Simply log on to ChannelsTV.com to get the breaking news. Browse the homepage according to what matters to you. Tap on the extended coverage of business, sports, politics, lifestyle, infotech, entertainment, health, world news, and lots more. Click on the live link and see the news in real time. Do you want to watch the latest video of the day? It's just a click away. Friend us on Facebook, YouTube, follow us on Twitter, Google Plus. Participate in Channels TV poll and share your comments. It's a website you can talk to. Your voice will be heard. ChannelsTV.com. The news at your fingertips. He's one of the most influential painters in 21st century Nigeria. Gani Odutoku was born on August 9, 1946 in Ghana. He studied fine art at the Akmadumelo University Zaria, where he trained under the legendary British teachers and graduated with a first class degree in painting in 1975. He also taught painting at his alma mater and had remarkable influence on his students. His influence is traceable in the works of his peers and in many young artists who trained in Zaria. His philosophy of accident-inducing design is not only an apt description of his life and death, but also of the works of numerous artists whose lives he touched and who saw him as his mentor. These include painters Jacob Jari, Lami Baturi Nuhu, Kefas Danjuma, Ayo Aino, and many others. He believed that art should not conform to old traditions, rather they should be a fluid reflection of the dynamism of society. Gani's works were outstanding in their depictions of modern society and could not be confined to descriptions as art from Nigeria, Africa or any other continent for that matter. In his time, he made over 200 remarkable works of painting and drawing participated in and hosted over 30 exhibitions and had designed several commission mosaic moral works for public places within the country, including a moral on the simulator building at the Nigerian College of Aviation Technology, Zaria, in 1981. On February 15, 1995, Ghani, along with three other artists, lost their lives in a car crash on the way from an exhibition of metal works titled Vibrations in Lagos. At the time he passed away, he was the head of Department of Fine Art at Madubelo University, Zaria, and the National Vice President of the Society of Nigerian Artists. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms.
hope you had an extraordinary time on this week's edition of the show. And if you did, don't forget the conversation continues online and you can always enjoy At House on any of our platforms. Till then, I'm Melinda Akinami. Have a lovely day. <laughs>